The space neighborhood might have alien cultures, but what if they're not as advanced as us? In a newspaper, researchers in space agencies have been advised to conduct successful searches for extraterrestrial life. The researchers say that the uneven contact spread makes it less likely that we will find evidence of advanced alien civilizations. Scientists may be able to look for both highly advanced and less advanced alien civilizations shortly thanks to new technology. The greatest way to learn about aliens, if they do exist, would be to look for techno-signatures in space, which are signs of technological or industrial activity. Scientists and space agencies may use technical indicators. A new paper published in the journal Acta Astronica by NASA-funded researchers outlines some of the most promising ways to do so. In the report, an unexpected idea was brought up it's likely that any advanced alien civilization with which we make first contact will have technology that is much more advanced than ours. In other words, it's possible that intelligent aliens don't just live in our galaxy. Although their technology is on par with ours, we may still be able to tell them apart. The same issue confronts any humanoid civilizations that find us. The cosmic footprints left by them and us would be insignificant compared to those left by more advanced alien civilizations in terms of technology. Experts have used the term contact inequality to describe this concept. Due to the high levels of sensitivity or obvious engineering needed, it's very unlikely that two different technological civilizations will ever meet. Those with less advanced technology need to build structures that are either very big or very bright to find other civilizations. The first known interstellar visitor to our solar system is called Oumuamua. Oumuamua may be an alien artifact, according to the theories of some experts. If we wanted to find advanced civilizations, we are much more likely to find them on Earth than anywhere else. At least until new technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope make it possible to find signs of life on other planets. How? Some methods are already being used. Others could be used in other areas of astronomy. And still, others could work in theory. To provide stars with an abundance of energy, Dyson spheres, huge constructions that might be erected around them, could be used. In search of alien relics like wrecked spacecraft, space organizations may scour the Moon, Mars, and other worlds. There are irregularities in the spectral atmospheres of planets. To be sure, the atmosphere of a planet that houses alien industry would give it away. Lighting up the dark is a technique involving the transmission and reception of radio, microwave, and lesser waves. Changing how to find extraterrestrial life might completely alter our outlook. If aliens don't know where Earth is, they can't find it. Scientists who study technologies have been thinking about this question because of how often people send signals into space. One example of human-initiated techno-signatures is the Arecibo mission of 1974, which was aimed towards the M13 globular cluster. Some such examples are the switching on of artificial lights after dark and the changing of the temperature due to pollution. The Ichnoscale is a framework devised by scientists to appreciate the range of technological signs better. The complexity of a technosignature shows how state-of-the-art it was at the time it was made. This scale also provides a measurement of the total quantity of celestial objects. In contrast to the single aim of looking for a downed alien spaceship on the moon, the hunt for Dyson spheres in the universe would have millions of potential targets. Collectively, these numbers help scientists better understand the potential of different approaches to discovering evidence of extraterrestrial life. It's just as hard to predict whether or not an extraterrestrial invasion would be successful as it is to predict whether or not a certain tactic will work. This may be why the hunt for technological signals has yet to receive greater interest. Many of these methods, the researchers predict, may be easily included in ongoing astronomical missions with little additional expense, even if they didn't find anything. The searchers might have set quantitative upper limits on different kinds of technology stages of development of civilizations in the solar neighborhood. Searching for extraterrestrial life raises issues essential to human existence. The question of whether or not technological civilizations can survive over long periods is one of the most contentious. If civilizations really move throughout the galaxy, how frequently does this happen? And may we be one of them someday?
even if we don't find anything. Exploring the search parameter space may teach us more and bring us one step closer to solving these and other important problems. What would we do if we found unmistakable evidence of a non-industrial culture on a planet circling a different star? We were unable to contact them via regular channels. Unless physicists make a radically unexpected new discovery, there's no practical method for humans to go there. Small space probes could be sent to the planet to learn more about the people living there. A project called Breakthrough Starshot is now looking at the technologies necessary to pull off such an extraordinary achievement. The aliens there would have no idea they were being observed since such probes would be so small and rapid. Let's pretend that during the next decade, we learn something really remarkable about the Earth-sized planet that circles the red dwarf Proxima Centauri, or that we find what may be an Earth-like planet around Alpha Centauri A, the closest sun-like star. One of these nearby exoplanets may have detectable biosignatures by the 2030s. When we took pictures of the Earth for the first time in the 2050s, we found strong signs of a very advanced civilization. Envision the excitement of that realization. Our probes travel across space and time to arrive in the 2090s. By 2100, we will have conclusive proof that the planet is not only inhabited, but also home to an advanced semi-industrial civilization. So, how should we proceed under these circumstances? With the use of spaceships, we could send classified information all across the newfound planet. We can witness gigantic geometric flames ignited as a reaction from the residents. We may decide whether and how we want to initiate contact. The nearest star is so far away that it would take nine years for a message to go back and forth. Let's imagine that a highly developed civilization inhabits Kepler-452b. The distance is an astounding 1,400 light years. It would take at least 2,800 years for each message to travel in both directions. A Starshot style probe would need at least 7,000 years to make the trip. Nonetheless, let's look at every avenue. Let's say we find a sophisticated alien civilization and, inspired by this, develop a means of traveling faster than the speed of light. To ensure that humans do not bring hazardous creatures to Mars or any other potentially inhabited planet, NASA certainly maintains a complete set of planetary protection regulations. One of the main reasons the Cassini probe will crash into Saturn is to destroy it so it doesn't pollute Enceladus or Titan. We like to think that we will have improved versions of those planetary protection regulations to ensure we don't transmit our viruses if we ever get to the stage where we can detect life on other planets and go to them. Considering the outcomes of ongoing missions, the last stage would be the most difficult. For instance, NASA's Perseverance rover is currently exploring Mars's Jezero crater for fossils. The rover is equipped to detect life up to the fifth detection level, while the sixth needs analysis of samples delivered to Earth, and the seventh may require further investigation of other parts of Mars. Since most experts think it's very likely that there's intelligent life outside of Earth, this topic must be looked into more often. This will help us communicate the awe we feel at the results of our efforts. However, if we discover a technologically inferior civilization to ours, communicating with the current model of physics billions of miles away will be much more difficult. Beyond the current efforts, scientists will spend the next decade building a new generation of telescopes to search for life on other, smaller planets. The proposed LUV-OIR telescope, for instance, could gather enough images in only four years to study the weather patterns, seasonal changes, and maybe even the surfaces of 50 Earth-sized exoplanets. It might start up as early as the 2030s, pending approval of funding and construction. If there are any traces of life in the universe, they should be easily detectable with the correct kind of equipment. Unfortunately, there is a high chance we won't find anything.